what's up guys, Clickwood here with the Fantasy Football Swagger Podcast. Just bringing you guys a quick video here. We're testing out some new stuff here on the channel. Going to try and use some green screen here with a background behind it. See if that works out for us. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to work, but hopefully it works out well. Today guys, what I want to talk about is the Arian Foster situation. Now obviously, it sounds like Arian Foster suffered a pretty bad torn groin. Ugh, man, that sounds absolutely brutal. I would definitely not want to be in Arian Foster's shoes right now. But it sounds like he is going to miss at least 10 weeks this year. Now, obviously, the uh, the Houston Texans haven't officially placed Arian Foster on any sort of injury report uh, that would signify how he's going to play this season. But most reports are at this point that he is going to be placed eventually on the IR list designated to return, which means that he could actually return at week 10, which is uh, essentially when the team is going to be playing. Uh, they have to play a certain number of games so that he can be eligible to return back onto the field. Now, Arian Foster, obviously one of the best fantasy football running backs. He's been a beast for quite a few years now, but with him missing so many games this year, we're really kind of questioning whether or not he's even draftable at this point in fantasy leagues. Now, my personal opinion is that unless I'm in a league with very deep benches or in a league such as an ESPN league or uh, another type of league where you have an IR slot, I definitely would not draft Arian Foster. You need to have those deep benches or that IR slot to even consider it. And even then, I think he's a late round pick at best. The biggest question at rate, at, as far as things go right now is who is going to replace Arian Foster on that roster? Is it going to be Alfred Blue or maybe is it going to be somebody else on the roster? There have been a lot of rumors of potentially the signing of Pierre Thomas. Now, Pierre Thomas would be obviously a pretty significant uh, acquisition for the Houston Texans because that's a, that's a player who has had success in the NFL, who has done it for the New Orleans Saints in the past, and he is also a very dynamic player. He's a player that not only will play on first and second down, but also is one of the best third down and receiving backs in the entire league. So Pierre Thomas, if he does get picked up by the Texans, could be a big time acquisition. He's somebody that I would be targeting right now at the very end of my draft. I know he's not currently rostered, but if I'm in a deeper league, a 12 or 14, a 16 team league, and um, I'm looking at the very end of my draft and I'm kind of picking between guys who are pretty much a roll of the dice anyway, Pierre Thomas is somebody that could potentially get that, that signing by the Texans and could even possibly win that starting job. But as far as things are right now, it sounds like it's going to be Alfred Blue. Alfred Blue is, he's a fairly decent player. He did have some success last year when Arian Foster was down. He had a couple hundred total yard games. I don't think he got into the end zone in those games, but still had some fantasy value. The real question here is with the Houston Texans no longer having Andre Johnson and really just focusing primarily on DeAndre Hopkins as their number one wide receiver, do they have enough of a threat of a passing game to have a decent running game, especially with Arian Foster out? I mean, it's going to be a kind of a, a problem, I think. I think that they're, their offense is going to struggle. The good thing is that their defense is good enough to keep them in a lot of games, so typically they're not going to get blown out, despite the fact that their offense might be one of the worst in the league right now as far as skill position players go. Not really a great quarterback. Wide receivers are thin as hell, and running back is a big disaster right now if Alfred Blue doesn't show up and play well. So uh, if, if, uh, if they do end up having a good season or at least a moderately decent season, like I said, defensively, uh, they should be good enough to still get Alfred Blue the ball. And if he does end up getting, you know, 15 touches a week, he is definitely going to be a good value, especially in your daily leagues early in the season when we're not really 100% certain that he is going to be the starter. It does really sound like he is going to be the guy, though, as long as they don't go out there and get another player. Arian Foster himself actually spoke about how he and, uh, and Alfred Blue have been working together in the offseason. Alfred Blue also made reference to that, saying that he kind of views Arian Foster as his mentor. So, I mean, it makes sense. Arian Foster is going to kind of help out the next guy in line. He seems like a good guy. So, I mean, I don't think that's, that's just blowing smoke up our asses. I really do believe that Alfred Blue is going to be the starting running back for the Houston Texans for at least probably the first four weeks. And then after at that point... If he doesn't end up doing a good job, there might be other plans. But for the early part in the season, I think Alfred Blue is going to be a good player to acquire, especially if you're somebody that's looking at a player, you know, like a Todd Gurley, for for example, who could potentially come in halfway through the year and uh, could potentially uh, take over the starting job in St. Louis. If you're looking for somebody to potentially play 
before that, this could be a good complimentary player for you at a very low price. So I'm definitely looking at Alfred Morris as a player that I'm looking to draft here in the fantasy drafts here in the next couple of weeks. Should be a good value for you guys in the mid to late rounds at the running back position and somebody that does have some decent upside as well. So with that said, guys, thanks so much for the support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let me know in the comments section below, what do you guys think about the Houston Texans running back situation? Do you think it's going to be Alfred Blue? Should we be looking at somebody else? Should they go out there and get Pierre Thomas or maybe a Ray Rice, a Steven Jackson, somebody like that, Chris Johnson potentially? What should the Houston Texans do and what do you think they will do? Thanks again, guys. Leave it in the comments section below and I'll talk to you guys again here on the Fantasy Football Swagger Show.